My van is a 1996 Volkswagen Transporter, uh, a T4. It is a 1.9 diesel, non-turbo, 1X engine. Um, I bought it back in 2011, and it, I think it's just done just over 100,000 miles. Fast forward to now, it's done 240,000 miles, I believe. It's taken us all over Europe. It's gone through various stages in its life from, from a panel van to a camper van um, and it's now yeah, affectionately known as the rolling home. My name's Callum Creasy, I am 28 years old. Yeah, this is, this is my van, this is, this is my vehicle. We've always called it the rolling home and then I guess three, three or four years ago we, after kind of taking loads of photos and making films and documenting all of our travels we thought okay um, we'll start an Instagram account and, and, uh, and share all of those photos and then unbeknownst to us it just snowballed from there and, and, and people from all over the world started connecting with, with the van and the interior and kind of what the photos represented. It would get reposted on, on Tumblr sort of like 10, 20, 30,000 times. And it was like, wow, okay, this, this vehicle is bigger than just one camper van. It kind of it represents something to people. I'm currently the editor of the Rolling Home Journal, which is a quarterly publication celebrating alternative living. And the journal was a way of us moving away from our own personal travels, our own personal story, and celebrating people who the same as us, if not, you know, further trips, longer trips to more far-flung places. The memories that we have in that band kind of gives you an attachment to it, and you only really feel those memories when you're when you're driving and when you're like, okay. You know, I'm, I might be driving from A to B, but if I if I wanted to, I'd just put an extra bit of diesel in here and I could go get the ferry and I could be in France, I could be in Spain, and that's the, the special part of that vehicle or any vehicle. It's a small engine, you know, it's just a small golf engine, four cylinder. And it's got about 65 brake horsepower when it came out of the factory and whether it has that now is, is, is another question. It's super easy to work on. There's, there's no ECU, it's, it's all mechanically controlled. We rebuilt the top end of the, of the engine, you know, replaced the head a good few years ago because um, the water jacket corroded and it was like pressurising the system. You know, every every bit of information you could ever want about a Volkswagen T4 is online. You know, if, if you have a problem, you know that somebody else has had the problem before. If you want to replace parts, they're super easy to get hold of. There's a reason why Volkswagen T4s are so popular. This is actually the old oak worktop from our old studio, which is cool. There's nothing better than seeing it when it's like ready to go away on a trip, you know, for an indeterminate amount of time because it's it's fully kitted out. It's ready for an adventure. And moving on from the journal now, it's like, okay, how can we get back to the basics and how can we get back to that original reasons for building the van and that's where the new business comes in which is the onwards adventure vehicles. I've just launched with my friend Duncan. This new venture with Dunk is, is a way of kind of getting back to building, designing, you know, those challenges of, of sort of small interior design and adding windows and adding solar panels and water systems, and electrical systems and, and creating these, these vehicles that you can then give to people and, and they can go off and have some of the best times in their lives in, for me, it's like a dream for sure.